Okay, so today we're going to talk about resin rich. So in a previous episode, we spoke about resin dry, where there's not enough resin in the laminate. Today we're going to talk about resin rich when there's too much resin in the laminate. So why is that a problem? Well, it's a problem for a number of reasons. It's, it's typically an indication that your compaction isn't optimized. Um, it also reduces the, the strength in that the, uh, the resin's not very strong compared to the fiber. And so by having more resin in there compared to fiber, you're, um, you're, you're reducing the, the, the mechanical properties of the laminate. So it also changes the stiffness um, by being a bit thicker and it adds weight. So you have, ha having excess resin in there is, um, is typically not a good thing. So you, you, know, you, you want the, the right amount of resin in the laminate, you don't want too much, you, you, you don't want not enough. So it, it's, it's getting, that, getting that ratio right. So that comes down to your, to your molding process and, uh, and your material selection and these sorts of things. So what we'll do next is we'll, uh, we'll go through some examples on the bikes and, uh, and, and that'll sort of show you how, um, you know, what, what, what it looks like and some of some of the issues with uh, with with resin ridge. Okay, here I'll show you some examples of some resin rich areas. So if we zoom in a bit, go a bit closer, and um, this area here, along here, you can see there's been a fold in the bag, in the internal bladder, and then there's basically a whole bunch of resin here and there's even some little voids in it. Um, so what that sort of shows is that the compaction in that area isn't, uh, isn't uniform and the excess resin in the material um, just fills those gaps. So that's sort of typically what happens. So that's, you can see the same sort of thing over here. So um, yeah, so that's that's some resin rich. I'll um, I'll show you some more examples of on some different bikes. So here we have a micrograph of a carbon rim. So you can see the individual plies, uh, layers stacked on top of each other, and um, the different directions, etc. And uh, there's a good example of some resin rich areas both at the top and the bottom where those red arrows are showing. So the one at the top, you can see the, um, the, the resin uh, sort of pooled in, in, uh, in that well, if you like, and there's also the black area right next to it, that's a void. So, um, you know, that's a sort of typical sort of resin rich, you know, reduced compaction sort of area. So down the bottom, you have a similar sort of thing where you've got the resin, uh, the resin's pooled up and, uh, and you've got those black voids and you also got some filaments of carbon sort of floating in that. So, um, so that's actually a, uh, a molded spoke hole um, and it sort of shows how that, uh, that area is, is prone to being resin rich. So on to some more examples. Here's, uh, here's another, another case, again, around the head tube area. So if we look here, you know, we can see the extra sort of thickness. And, uh, and that's just resin. So, you know, the fiber isn't, uh, isn't, isn't doing anything there. It's, um, you know, there's, there's also the reduced compaction um, which also you can just sort of make out a bit of a kink in the fiber or a wrinkle. So that's just sort of reducing the strength. So um, and further up here, again, you can see the same sort of thing going on. And then down here, there's a, um, there's a lot of stuff going on. You can see the wrinkles and, uh, and the buildup of, uh, of resin through here. Um, also, sort of going a bit further down, we can see some more examples of here. I mean, that's that's pretty minor, but the stuff up here that's that's sort of quite significant. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, I'll keep working through some examples. Okay, here we've got, it's like this is molded really well. It's, it's sort of a newer, a newer process with the, um, a, a semi-rigid bladder to control the compaction. But you can still see this right here, that sort of yellowy, milky sort of region here. And that's just, um, that's a build-up of resin there. But, um, and also you can see the transitions where you've gone from the semi-rigid bladder here just to the conventional bladder. And so you've got a line through there of, uh, of a, a difference in compaction and, uh, and it's the same over on this side here. So, so the resin... You can see on this piece of glass fibre here how the resin is sort of a, a yellowy, milky colour. And so that's sort of one of the things to look for. Um, it, uh, you know, if in the resin-rich area, it'll have that, that, that colour. Okay, another example on the head tube. And um, we'll close in. Obviously, you can see all this, what's going on here. And... Um, See if we can focus in on that point there. There we go. It's um, so you can see the resin ridge. You can see the sort of a white, you know, the lighter, milky sort of colour through there, and these voids. So that sort of really shows uh, the lack of compaction and resin rich so that's the thing the thing with resin rich is it it it's it's due to the lack of uniform compaction so um you know that, that's the problem you want that you want the fibers to be well compacted if we look elsewhere down this bike you can see some lines here as well and so you know that was obviously a crease in the bag and you've got some little voids on the surface there i mean all that stuff it's surface stuff it's not as is critical, but um, it does highlight that's just a reduced compaction. And again, on the uh, on the down tube, you've got a little pocket here of resin, um, and further down, further down the down tube, and then you've got this quite a big sort of resin lump through here. So. Um, yeah, and a little bit through here. So, you know, these, these resin lumps sort of here and here are quite big. So there's, um, you know, obviously there's resin then between the plies of carbon. Okay, another one with the, uh, the head tube. Again, you can see this sort of white milky sort of colour, uh, yellowy white milky colour, um, where there's been, uh, there's, a, there's a glass put a glass barrier ply in because they're bonding these aluminium inserts in. Um, and again, you can see the sort of the, the lack of compaction and voids and stuff in this area. Also going a bit further down, you've got, um, you've got this transition here with an, and a wrinkle. And, uh, and then looking down the down tube, you've got all these sort of little wrinkles of, of resin. Now that's not a that's not a real issue. Um, it's yeah, it's not ideal, but it's uh, it's not a major a major thing. But these other things are a bit more of a concern, having having voids and 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 bigger wrinkles. And the last one, um, this one's quite interesting in that it's got um, you you can see all this uh, build up through here. Um, you can even see, if you'll focus on that point there, uh, a void. You got the transition through here from the different bladder materials. But the other interesting thing is, this has got internal, like molded in internal cable routing and you can see all these little pockets of, of resin pooling sort of along uh, along the internal um, cable routing. So 
it's just as the fibre's just um, struggling to get around that corner. So um, in the, those areas just fill up with resin. And the final example in this video is um, a brake bridge on the rear stay. So you can see sort of the greeny, yellowy, sort of lighter areas around the, the, the hole, uh, the brake mounting hole. And that's, um, yeah, there's, there's been some bridging of the fibre across that corner and, uh, and that area is filled with resin. So that's sort of another, another example uh, of the resin ridge. So that's it on resin rich, and um, what we'll do is we'll keep running through the different defects and flaws and things that we find in this series of videos. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll do next, whether it be voids or uh, delamination or, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep uh, building the, the library of information um, through these videos. So uh, yeah, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel and uh, tell your friends and uh, we'll keep bringing you this content. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.